All right, welcome back. Today we've got ourselves a new project car. So this is going to be replacing my daily driver, the uh, Acura TL that I've been driving. So that car has served me very well, but I need something right now that's a little more uh, easy on fuel. I'm doing a lot of driving for work. So that plus something that can haul stuff because the TL, the back seats don't fall down. So I can't put anything in that car. It's not very good for uh, moving anything around. Right now I'm doing house renovations. So I'm at a point in my life where I need to replace that thing with something a little more practical. And what I ended up getting was a 2008 Subaru Impreza. It's a base Impreza, because not the WRX, not the STI. Nothing fast and fancy like that, but it's good on fuel. And well, it's decent on fuel. And it's all we'll drive for our winters. And it is a hatchback. And who doesn't love a hatchback, right? Just beautiful, beautiful cars. So, uh, of course, like any project that comes into MT Garage, it doesn't run, it doesn't drive. So, while well, it runs, it just doesn't go under its own power right now because it needs a clutch. So, I bought this thing cheap, and uh, the car itself is in really good shape. I'm going to show you guys some clips of that, like the wheel wells, no rust, which is for uh, Canada here. It's uncommon to find a car with no rust because it's just our winters and the amount of salt and and gravel that we use on the roads in the winter is crazy uh, the car also it's got a few dents but other than that the paints are really nice the uh, motor is in good shape there's a couple of tiny little leaks but nothing at all to worry about they're they're small like old leaks that just there's a little bit of residual oil kind of sitting on the valve covers and stuff like that um, what else uh, it's got fairly low kilometers and it's got all the options so it's got AC cruise control heated seats uh, Bluetooth deck, um, pretty much everything I need. Uh, big things is that it's all wheel drive and it's a hatchback and it doesn't need premium fuel. It's going to do better on fuel than my TL. So, um, so the plan with this project is to kind of refresh this thing and just do some maintenance because I don't know what the history on this car. So it needs a clutch, needs a flywheel. It's going to need an oil change, air filter, uh, we're also going to do things like uh, spark plugs, just a couple, couple other little things. We'll replace the fluids probably in the diff, the front and rear diffs and the trans. Um, and of course, timing belt, that's going to be a big thing. If you've ever owned a Subaru, you'll probably know that timing belt's a pretty important thing. So we're going to get a new timing belt in this thing. Um, and then there's a few upgrades that we're going to do too. Small little upgrades for now, like uh, command start. I have a command start unit that I'm going to install in this thing. And then I don't know what the stereo system is like, but we'll probably end up putting some different speakers in um, just because, I don't know, gotta have a little bit of bass, right? Especially with the amount of driving that I'm doing for work. I like to have my music playing. So uh, let's just get to it. First thing is we're gonna get, uh, we're gonna give the car a nice once over, kind of check it out and see what it needs before ordering parts. And once we get the parts in, we're gonna start fixing this thing up. So as you can tell from right here, the paint is really nice. It's pretty shiny. It's got a little bit of swirl marks like most older cars do, but uh, overall it's in good shape. And um, the uh, wheel arches here, the wheel wells are just beautiful. There's no rust. They feel great in the back as well. Um, tires are in good shape. Uh, lots of tread left. Wheels are all stock. This car is completely stock aside from the head unit. So it's got a Kenwood Bluetooth deck. Other than that, 100% stock. So the motor, like everything else, is stock and dirty. So we've got uh, Dirty Bay. Like I said, the guy drove gravel for a bit. Uh, a leak from up here. I don't quite know what that would be from. That's something to investigate. Um, batteries in good condition. Everything is in really good shape. I'm gonna do the spark plugs because I don't know how old those are. Oil change, of course. Timing belt because that's just a Subaru thing to do. Um, air filter, fluids, and for the most part, that's gonna be it. But the first thing we're gonna do is replace the clutch because I bought this car knowing it needed a clutch. So I pre-ordered the parts and I have them in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. That's gonna be the toughest job. So I'm just gonna get that out of the way so I can actually move the car back and forth and then we're going to get going on everything else. Let's lift up the car and get that transmission out. Okay, so we made some progress on the car so far. The air box is out, the clutch slave cylinder is out, the um, 
the drive shafts are ready to pop out. I got the lower strut bolts removed and now I just need to take the axle nut off and then I can pop the, the axles out of the trans. I have the transmission fluid drained and while I was down there I drained the differential oil on the rear and then the engine oil as well. So next, um, pretty much, I'm, well, I got the exhaust off too. Um, next step is going to be waiting till Matt gets here with some extra parts that I need. I need the jack because I need to lift this car higher. And I also need, um, I guess, an impact gun because I got to get these um, wheel nuts off. Um, so once Matt gets here, we can get the tools we need to finish this off. And then there's pretty much just popping the uh, drive shafts out. I have to take the rear drive shaft out too. That's something I have to do yet. And then I need to um, drop all the like subframe bolts for the trans. And then there's four or so more bolts that I have left in the bell housing that have to come off and the trans is ready to drop. Well, Matt just stopped by. He dropped off the jack, the impact gun, and the socket I need to get the uh, wheel nuts off, or the uh, axle nut. So let's get cracking and drop the transmission. So I've pretty much got everything removed now. I'm ready to drop the transmission. Uh, I've got all bolts between transmission and engine removed, and I've got the drive shafts out, starters out, shifter linkages are disconnected. I'm just struggling right now with the uh, transmission being stuck to the engine. Um, there's zero gap here, and I'm not able to get any tool in there right now. So I think what's holding me up is the two alignment pins and the two studs that this thing has, that the engine has that uh, align the transmission. And so I've sprayed those with penetrating fluid in hopes that that will give me a little more wiggle room. And then I'm gonna try the old putty knife trick to shove a putty knife in there, see if I can get a little bit of a gap. And then just, once I have a gap, shove a screwdriver in there and just work my way up. Uh, so we'll have the transmission dropped in no time. Well, I know these uh, Subaru transmissions have always been tough to separate, but this one's been the worst I've ever experienced. But as you can see, I now have a gap, and I did that by using an old broken dollar store putty knife. So this thing would normally have a handle up here, but um, the handle was just all plastic, so that broke off. But it was perfect, because I used this as a hammer edge, and I just smashed it in there, got a little bit of a gap, put a screwdriver in, uh, like you see I got here, and now she's separated, and I think it's ready to come down. So there we go, transmission is on the ground, and uh, that was a lot of work. But like everything that's a lot of work, it will pay off in the end. That's it for this episode, and uh, next time we come back with this car, we're going to be checking out the clutch and the release bearing to see what condition they're in, because I think it's going to be pretty bad. And then uh, we'll get the clutch replaced, transmission back in, and we'll get this thing driving. So uh, look forward to that one soon.